The term digital itself is an age-old kind of concept. Um, and we think about it today, you know, we're used to kind of sending emails and using this technology. When you send an email, you're not sending it, you know, via Morse code, you know, when you used to tap out. It's actually being transcribed from text into these kind of ones and zeros. And this is what we call binary code. So all text um, in any language can be converted into ones and zeros. And once it's in those ones and zeros, you can send it over the internet, it'll fly all around the world, and then you can convert it back into text. So this concept of binary code has been around for a long time. Um, but what we're seeing today is that the rise of kind of the internet, more connectivity, whether it's cell phones, satellite, um, we've got more and more storage capacity, and we've got more and more processing power, means that we can send and share massive amounts of data. And why that matters for aviation is we're now at a place where we can leverage data to make business decisions. And a lot of the kind of technology and tools out there are really around supporting business automation. So taking things which are kind of drudgery, manual, why am I doing this again and again, we can take that and automate it with code. Um, we've been hearing a lot about um, Predix, um, and what's really exciting about Predix is it's something called a platform. Um, and what that means is you, know, you don't necessarily need to build everything out from scratch anymore. It's a big concept with platforms and the web. If you think about things like Uber or Google Maps, um, you can use these tools, and they themselves are sitting on the web, the internet, a lot of technology that they didn't necessarily have to invent. So what Predix is is a platform um, which is really an ecosystem of tools um, and they've kind of figured out the infrastructure side of it where you can sit on top of that platform and build um, applications to help solve business problems, whether that's um, kind of resourcing, supply chain, um, sensor data. Um, it's a great starting point. And one of the exciting things about Predix is this kind of catalogue of services that already exists. And what it means is you can actually pull from services that your colleagues are using in different parts of GE and third parties are building and quickly get to speed in a way which just wasn't possible before. So what is a digital first culture and how, how can that apply to aviation? Um, one of the kind of big um, things that we've seen is um, there is an enormous amount of resource out there um, on the web, on the internet. There are a huge number of tools. Um, and services that people are just, they just don't know exist, right? Um, typically, if you had a problem, you might go to your kind of normal process for solving that, whether that's using Excel, pen and paper, whatever that is. What most people don't spend time is just going out there, searching and seeing, okay, has somebody else tried this? Have they figured it out? And we're living in this kind of amazing world of open source technology. So this idea of open source is sharing the code behind solutions to these common problems. And I think one of the biggest um, learnings that we've had in our work with companies is spending time, allow people the time to go out there, um, see if it's been done before, have a kind of in in innovative culture um, that allows people to just try things out. And maybe it will work, maybe it won't work. But there's a massive world out there, non-proprietary, free tools, that it's really important to go out there and try.